Hey everybody, today we've got some fascinating insights into discussing and diving into the world of faster payments. So grab your digital wallets, and by the way, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this started. Okay, McKinsey, which is a global consulting firm, has released data from over the past five years that shows that worldwide electronic transaction volumes have skyrocketed by an impressive 17%. 17%, that's huge. Instant payments are stealing the show, especially where they are seamlessly integrated into more robust systems and infrastructures. Think things like, you know, person-to-person -person payments, bill pay, and of course, truth is, there are many other options that when in all in one place in a good structure and infrastructure, it's, it's like the perfect storm for rapid adoption to take place. In fact, McKinsey partner Philip Bruno said that when all those things come together, it actually drove such rapid adoption. That's huge, folks. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve recently introduced the FedNow service, which, of course, is an instant payment system, a faster payment system. And FedNow is expected to significantly boost the use of instant payments within the U.S. In India, we see things like the Unified Payments Inter Interface, or UPI, that network has been a game changer, leading to tenfold growth in digital payments volume in the last five years. Oh, and in Brazil with PIX, they're following suit very closely, with McKinsey predicting that instant payments will make up almost half of the transactional revenue by 2027. And also, already in just a few years, the PIX volume has exceeded the volume that we see in debit and credit cards. That's huge! So this report from McKinsey suggests that with favorable regulations, instant payments could double in volume in regions like the Eurozone. It's all about, you know, let's say providing instant gratification to users while also reshaping the payments landscape and the banking, electronic banking landscape. And according to Peter Tapling of PTAP Advisories and a friend of the payments professor, he said this whole instant drive around the world has been about taking stodgy, old bank pay and enabling bank products that operate the way people have begun to think, which is, of course, more an instant gratification. But it's not just about consumers. That's a reality when it comes to instant payments. The massive growth that's been there is also coming from some commercial digital payments, and they're actually catching the consumer payments rather quickly. Global cash usage, though, has been on a decline, particularly in places like India and like Brazil, where the share of cash transactions has dropped, well, significantly. According to McKinsey, in 2022, payments revenue reached an all-time high, totaling $2.2 trillion globally. It marked the second consecutive year of double-digit growth in payments revenue. And also, according to McKinsey, the payments industry is on a remarkable trajectory. We're looking at global payments revenue surpassing $3 trillion by 2027. As the world continues its journey towards instant and digital payments, I want to say dominance, right? Well, that's all for today as far as our dive into how cash is starting to decline because of instant payments. But don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments and what's happening in the world of electronic payments from the Payments Professor. Thank you for joining. Until next time, class dismissed.